What's up, guys? It is TK Jelly Man back here with another Lego review. Um, yeah, we might as well just cut to the chase. I'm sorry you can see what it is just from this little glimpse. Just in case, Lego Ideas set two, one, three, one, eight, three thousand pieces. By far, this took me, I ain't even gonna cap, like a whole week to do. It was time consuming, but I only worked on it two nights. I lost very much sleep on that, and I kind of regret it a little bit. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is what it's going to look like. I ain't about to doing this because I got other plans for the green pieces. But um, wow, there they are right there. I'm going to just let y'all know right now. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this. I'll take some bits, some bits and pieces like this leaf work right here. I might cop that. I'll do like a base skeleton of this. I didn't mean to knock that down. Whoops. But I'll do like a base skeleton. God dang it. Is that correct? Yeah, same thing as a, as a box. All right, so I'm going to do like a base skeleton of the actual tree trunk. Probably do a little couple trees. But these huts, I'm going to keep them repurpose them and gut them on the inside use them for like the mock but um yeah i'm gonna I'm I'm keep the same design and stuff may take away the extra details and all this extra stuff because it's not really necessary you feel me but um i'm keeping these i have another part of the mock that i want to use these for i'm not going to spoil anything y'all just have to watch the video to find out but um let's just say it's going to be interesting but uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get to the actual mock. We'll start with the ground floor first, and then we'll work our way up the tree. Um, got the figure. It's a little boy. I'm going to repurpose this guy, too. He's going to... I'm not going to spoil it, but he's going to be useful. So is this little girl. I'm going to change the legs, of course, because can't have kids getting shot. You feel me? But I can't have adults getting shot. So it's it's different. But um, let's see what we got going on here. I got like a little campfire going on with the with the pot. So that's pretty cool. And I st I'll still be able to use this whole thing. I might just take this whole thing right here and put it into the mock. Cause a lot of this stuff as off off rip is useful. Like this, I might keep this too. Because there's no reason to get rid of it. it. It works for the mock that I'm trying to do. All these green pieces are going to get incorporated too. I don't know if I'm going to elevate this by like putting some other bricks under it. And then covering it with like more green bricks. Like the whole underside and like the middle. Random colored bricks. And then all the green bricks will be on the outside leading it up. So it's going to be like on a hill. I'd have to draw it out so for you to actually know what I'm talking about completely. But that's probably going to be the plan. Got the little pumpkins on the side. Can't really see them. It creates a nice shadow effect all, all around the tree and stuff. But um, yeah. Got a little rock path and a satchel. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the rock, uh, the rock path because it goes under here too. I'm not going to take that apart though. Got some nice foliage pieces everywhere. And nice railing for the stairs. Um, about the stairs, I might get a same similar design. So how it curves, I might keep that and just use those pieces. But this part right here, how it goes up that high, I don't think I'll do that because reasons I have plans. I'm not going to spoil them, even though I'm known to do that. Another lamp. I'm going to use this again. I'm, 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 this is going to be something that I actually take pride in because I have all the base plates. And with this, I will have all the pieces. I have more than enough foliage pieces now because I kind of did a little extra shopping. So, yeah. Um, this, this is a nice detail. I'll remember something like this. But um, got a little bird up there. Got a little, um, I don't know if you can see it. Like a limb has been cut off. That was pretty cool to build, too. Okay, I can still move it. So, that's one thing. You can move the bird a little bit, too. 
like that. And that's a little birdhouse. One thing I really like about putting together this set is it gives me new building techniques. And then it gives me pieces to execute those nice building techniques like this. This whole thing suspended off the ground. It's all connected via the middle part of this tree. Am I going to take that apart? Probably not. I ain't going to lie. That's a lot of work. And I still want it for aesthetics for like another couple of minutes. At least to the end of the video. After that, it's free real estate. Um, but yeah. I mean, let me just show you the other minifigures before I go around to everything else. So there's the dad. He comes with a hat too. I'm going to go get that. I'm not going to put it on him though because it's really not that serious. But it's a nice little... Nice little forest ranger, cowboy hat type thing. Here's the mom. I don't know, the haircut threw me off a little bit, but, you know, it's straight. It's straight. Um, That's that's the back of her torso. She doesn't have a dual-sided face. Back of his torso. They're both bland. Well, all four of them, I'm pretty sure, are just bland. But, um, yeah. Those are the characters. I don't really care about the characters too much. I kind of just cared about all the brown and green pieces, all the foliage. So, um, nice swing. You can put a, a big fig in here and sit him down, or you could put a little minifigure and have him like that too. I don't think I'll incorporate this into the mock. I don't... Not a swing. I'm trying to think. Could I use the chains for anything? I might use the chains, like kind of have the same setup, but have it like working on a ship or something. And I know exactly what ship I'd do. And it'll probably be like the engine for the ship. But I have no idea yet. Some mushrooms right there, some sand. I'm gonna call that wet sand. Got the nice glistening. See that? That's nice. I'm gonna use this for one specific part of the mock gonna be like the same type of river type thing too um got some more plant pieces and build your dreams k and f whoever k and f is oh dang it oh we're not gonna talk about that we're just gonna, gonna try to repair it by the way when it comes to these uh hook stuff i hate those with a passion because they're extremely difficult to um, put together and stuff. So, ye. But come on. All right. All right, whatever. It's an apple. Y'all saw that. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and wrap that up. Yeah, you stay. Stay. All right. So, we're going to go just to the next level. Which would be, if we follow the stairs, it's on this side. I don't care about that. We'll go to the very next level, which is right here. I can't remember if this is the bathroom or not. I think the bathroom is on the other side, right behind it. You can probably see a little glimpse of the right there. That's where the bathroom should be. But um, it's a little bedroom. Um, let me try to focus it. If it focus. Is it focused? Not too much. Let me uh, let me let me remove the rooftop. I'm gonna put y'all down for a couple seconds so I can do this. Cause I might as well get all of it done at once. Uh, take this one off too. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want all the rooftops done at the same point. Great craftsmanship. I'm trying to figure out if I want all the huts to say the same or to re redesign it or like combine them all into one or something. I'm trying to figure out that. But as you can see, there's a bed right there. And it looks like my dog is a writer or something because he was writing a letter. There's the inkwell and the pen right there. Got a nice little ship in a barrel. I got that upside down. I didn't notice that there was a ship till now because it's so small. There's a little window right there. Flower. Binoculars, I'd assume. 
some little dresser drawers. Can't really do anything with it though. It's just, I think that's part of a, I don't know actually, a drink catcher maybe? Got, um, mainly this is just a bedroom. A little compass. Got some more dresser drawers. And that's a floor mat. And I have no idea what this right here is supposed to be above it. I think that's for like a door frame or something. But um, yeah, got the got the lights in the room. Either way, that's one. Okay, I'm gonna shoot myself now because I just broke the top part of the tree. But as you can see, this is mainly what the inside of the whole tree looks like going all the way down. It's just like a bunch of random colors and a whole bunch of Technic pieces that go all the way down to the very bottom. But um, yeah, this is the bathroom. This is the part that I actually like. It's got nice tiling. It'll go great for my other part of the mock that I want to use. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strip this completely. This is going to be studs on the floor. Um, let's see. Some shampoo bottles. That's toilet paper right there. That's a comb. That's a sink. This is the bathtub shower combo, I think. That's some more um, like body wash. That's how you turn it on. That's the door, clearly. Just open that real quick, man. Okay. And clearly that's the toilet. And that's the toilet. But um, yeah, that's, that's basically it for that. We got then, if I turn it around, I'm still kind of pissed that I just broke that whole top part of the tree. Dang. But, um, might not be able to see it because of this. Let me, yeah, let me, let me just turn that out of the way. But yeah, we got a nice walkway. I might keep this same type of designs of walkways because this is actually pretty flyer. Can't even cap. Like how it's all split apart like that and stuff. Kind of like a rope bridge. And then that gets you to this building, which theoretically, I have no idea how you're supposed to walk around this because figures can barely fit on that one stud thing. They, like, they can't really like be shown in the action of walking. But um, yeah, it basically brings you to an observation deck. Got this nice telescope. Look at the stars with it. It can move and stuff. It's got all the nice details. Trust me, I would know. I had to do that myself. It was a lot of work. Got these on that. And I think that they're on the roofs too. One, two, and three. The roofs are color-coded. This one goes for um, this building because it all matches up with these one by four by ones. Yeah, one by four by, wait. One by two by fours, or two by four by ones. Either way, it's the same numbers. The, they're color coded by those and these parts on top of the door. So, yeah. But let me actually show you the inside of it. Um, we got like some Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty type rose. I'm pretty sure that's Beauty and the Beast, though. I think I just messed that reference up. Dang. But it's on the like a glass container. Microscope right there, binoculars right there, and a light. And we got like bunk beds, red and red. Really? <sighs> Jesus. Yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. Got the um paddles for canoeing right there for bunk detail. And got a little book in here that you can actually open. I was surprised by this. And there's like a little little note in there. Trying to, trying to see what it says once upon a time so a little story for the children feel me and then got some more dresser drawers i don't know what that is supposed to be what this is I, I have no idea i'd assume it's like something for a pet though and that's like just a potted plant or something i guess um but yeah this is fully opposable because of the ball joint. There should be another one too, but I think that was part of the top of the tree and it broke off. Dang, copy that. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and spin it back around because we have at least one other thing to show you that's part of this level. 
And it is the thing that you saw me messing with before. Let me bring it up to normal zoom. And so it's this little fishing thing. So it goes up and down. That's what I'm saying. It. I hate this part the most when putting it together. Can you stop moving? Just stop. Stop. I hate putting stuff like this together so much because... Can you, can you focus? My bad, bro. I don't, I don't really record videos with this phone like that. But, um... Yeah, it's tying the knots. Because I can't tie knots with these small skinny strings. So it's real difficult. But yeah, this is just supposed to pull everything up. Ding, ding, ding. No, no, no. Stop turning. Okay. And then you would bring this back, assuming that I can actually hold on. No, let me all the way up to the top and then bring it back. And then I'm just going to have to pretend like it's like that. All right, this is how you would actually get the stuff to the people who are assumably standing on the balconies. I have no idea how they want you to imagine that because it's not really realistic. But that is, again, besides the point. Um, I already showed you this. You can kind of see how it's assembled. A whole bunch of ball joints on each of these four things, which are fully opposable. And so there's that. These also can move up and down a little bit. I don't want to break it, though, so I ain't going to really do that too much. It's like 894 steps to this, by the way. I'm going to let you know right now. Yeah, like... This whole, dang, this whole tree got broken. All right, well, y'all saw how it was the first time. But um, there's a whole bunch of connection points with these, racket, with these ratcheted points right there that connect these big stems and logs and other tree limbs, whatever they're called. I'm, not, I'm trying not to take the L and just not know what they're called, but I can't remember. There's another ball joint where that other piece was that I was talking about, but that broke off, as, as you can see. And it's breaking off in my hand. So, yeah. Um, That's basically it. I'm not going to bother putting it back together now because it's all coming apart. But, yeah. Um, If y'all enjoyed the video, probably not. But, you know, got to at least leave the options you feel me so if y'all enjoyed the video go ahead and hit the like button subscribe if y'all feel so inclined i got a lot more videos coming on the way i'm gonna stream star wars probably tomorrow after i get bored of just waiting around and not doing anything with my life and um this mock once i'm done with it i'm gonna actually upload it instead of just tearing it down without saying anything about it because i know i probably teased it well, tease my last mock that I was building. I probably teased it a couple times in videos, but never actually did anything about it. So I'm going to change that for this time. I'm going to actually show it to y'all, show how I'm proud in it, show all the, how I did everything and all the details. I'm trying to make it as intricate as possible and as cool and detailed as possible, too. But, um, yeah. Other than that, subscribe, hit that like button, notification bell, and share the video with your friends. Uh, TKL.